My next guest, folks, is the funniest television performer of all time. Of course, there he is. You all know him as Barney Fife from The Andy Griffith Show. He was also Mr. Furley on Three's Company, made a lot of hilarious movies. Please welcome Don Knotts. <laughs> Nice. That I, I, I think, and and we're, we're thrilled. Everybody here on our show is thrilled uh, that you could be here, and uh, and and actually, it's a nice honor. I guess it was just a, a few weeks ago. I think TV Guide called Barney Fife. I think you're in the top ten performers uh, characters in television of all time. Mm -hmm. That's got to feel good. Thank you. Thank you. It's got to feel good. The question I had was. Was, I, I don't really uh, know much about you personally. Are are you Barney Fife? Are there, you know, are, is, is <laughs> oh, that... I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be Barney Fife. Well, there's a little Barney in me, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's There's got to be some. I mean, you. who did you base him on? Did you base him on somebody that you knew? No, I really didn't. No. Uh, in the beginning, the writers you know, wrote the character, and then mm -hmm. we embellished it as we went along and developed it over the weeks. I think you made being nervous funnier <laughs> than any other uh, performer I've ever seen. Did you know? I mean, did, did you know any nervous people when you were when you were coming Actually, along? Actually, that came from uh, I saw a guy at a, a luncheon giving a speech, and he was that nervous. I mean, he was spilling water all over himself, <laughs> and uh, and then I dreamed a, a monologue about a nervous guy, mm -hmm. and I got up and and wrote the rest of the monologue and did it on the tonight show and you thought this is something i can use yeah somewhere yeah. um you developed later into barney five you met uh andy griffith because of this building is that right <laughs> yeah this, this building 30 rockefeller yeah. plaza famous broadcasting building yeah. in new york well it's kind of a long story i was there used to be a drugstore down here called cromwell's where all the actors hung out mm -hmm. i was in there one day and somebody said you should read Go down and see Morris Evans. They're putting a play on Broadway called No Time for Sergeants. Right. So I ran out here and went down to see Morris Evans, and they I got a reading in the thing and got a part in the play, and the play starred Andy Griffith, and that's how we became friends. And the Andy Griffith show actually, I think, went on the air. It was on the air for a while. They didn't have. Well, uh, it wasn't on the air, but they did a spinoff. Right. Of the Danny Thomas show. Yeah, and, and I saw that. Mm-hmm. And he didn't. Have, I called him up, and I said, "You know, you need a deputy." <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> that was smart. Uh, the other character, I think, there's a. It was a whole other generation that got to know you in in the late '70s, Mr. Furley from Three's Company. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> now we're getting into the age group here. There we go. Yeah. No, but it was. It was. What was so fun about that was when you would when your character would hear sexual innuendo and get right. so nervous and upset yeah. i would lo that that was just uh, i would love seeing that they would get in nice and tight on you can you give us a little of that is uh, that well I, I could do a take like he used to do you'd yeah. have to make me think you were gay or something <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, well, let's say I'll, I'll have a conversation with Andy, and you can misunderstand, right. okay? Uh, Andy, it was so great staying over your place last night. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. no problem. Fantastic. Yeah, how, yeah. how are you like how my pajamas fit? Your pajamas fit great, and giving you the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just so enjoy that. <laughs> You're always hearing it from the outside of door. Uh, uh, it's, it's become like a cocktail game here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, you know, life is going very well for you. And, and one thing, you have this book that's coming out, which, mm -hmm. which, we will, uh, which we will show in just a minute. But I'm looking at the back, and there's a picture of you with your current girlfriend. Yes. What is her name? Francie. Let's take a look at this picture. I just think, thanks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful. Yes, she is. I want to hang out with you. <laughs> um, you're uh, so many stars. What's nice is I think so many uh, big stars today 
are paying homage to you and saying that you were a huge influence uh, on them. To, who's, just name some of the big stars that have that you've heard have said, well, Don Knotts is a huge influence. Well, Jim Carrey just told me that he loved the ghost of Mr. Chicken. Right, okay, that's cool. That's a good guy to have. Yeah. Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton? He loved that movie. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I see the influence, and do you guys see the influence in Billy Bob Thornton? I'm trying to think. Uh, you started, of course, uh, before we go, I want to mention that you started on a show that had a similar format to the show uh, we do here, which oh, is, this, yeah. which is the Steve show. Allen show, and actually the Steve Allen show, there was Steve Allen, the host, and he had all these characters, yeah. and you and Louie Nye and Tom Poston, and just these great performers, and we were putting this show together, we thought, that's the format, that's the s kind of thing we want to have, is weird, silly characters on the, yeah. on the periphery. You must have had a lot of fun on that oh, show. Oh, yeah, we had the, the sh kind of thing you do, we had what we called crazy shots, where you just set up crazy things, and <laughs> right. somebody maybe pumping somebody's arm, and water coming out of their ear. Right. We do that, only filthy versions of that. <laughs> they're going to stop us soon. Let me make sure I hold up the book. Barney Fife and uh, other characters I have known is in bookstores now. And uh, TV Land's going to air the Andy Griffith show every night beginning January 1st, which is great because I don't think there's a generation that's come along since the show was, was made in the 60s that hasn't gotten to really know the program. Mr. Knotts, really a thrill to have you on the show. That was great. Stay right there. Don Knotts, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.